Hey guys, welcome back to another After the Campaign video. This is After the Campaign video number, I have no idea because it's been so long since I've done one of these. For me, but, number one. Number one for you, <laughs> yep. But we're gonna do one nonetheless. We've got quite a few games to show you guys and here's how After the Campaign works. So basically these are all games that we have gotten after the campaign finished. I've played all of these games previously, so in their prototype form, and now these are all in their finished forms here. Callie has probably played maybe one or two of these yeah, titles. <laughs> so she's going to be, her her, uh, her her like expertise will be on just how the game is presented from a mm -hmm. purchaser's first time standpoint, like not seeing the prototype, not seeing any of the changes and whatnot. So we can get uh, both sides, the people that uh, have witnessed it throughout the campaign from its basic st state to now its finished date, and then somebody who's just freshly seeing mm -hmm. it for the first time with their eyes. Uh, so thank you for joining me, my loving wife, as we <laughs> undergo another After the Campaign video. You guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so here are all the games we have for After the Campaign, and we're going to take a look at them. Before we go into each one, we'll actually pick one, put it over there, show all the components, and then we'll set it aside. We'll go ahead and set all these aside first, but let's talk about all of them individually really quick here. Dover's Quest for the Key by Splattered Ink Games. This is by Daryl T. Jones, excellent guy. Dead Sprint, this is by Rabble. Coma Award by Everything Epic. That's right, you have to say it just like that for everything Epic Games. Wreck and Rune over here is Dream Big Games, and that's kind of a post-apocalyptic Mad Max style game. A Dragon Lords Battle of Darien, that's by Wolf Lord Games. And then Record, Yanaguana Games by with Marshall Britt. So quite a few games here to talk about. Is there one that strikes your fancy to first take a look at? Um, I mean, we could start right in the middle here. Okay, Dead so let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and set all that these aside. That might be easier. We'll go ahead and move these all aside here, and then we'll go ahead and start with Dead Sprint. You have to be faster than your friends, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the cover here. Uh, let's see, and look at it just like this. How do you like it? Look good? Yeah. It, it actually came out really nice as far as that goes. post-apocalyptic feel. I think I know what I'm what I'm getting into. It's got it. a <laughs> sheen to it, and you see all the zombies in the background chasing yeah. the uh, the people, so that would be cool. So I'll just put it up just like that. And that's the tagline, right? You just have to be faster than your friends. Yeah, it reminds, <laughs> me, of, uh, it. <laughs> reminds me of Bullets and Teeth, actually, yeah. as far as how that works. Bullets and Teeth is a small card game. This one is... This is like the full board game version of that. <laughs> yeah, we got the quick start guide, which are the and rules here. And I did here. play this one. Ah, I you think. did. I think so. Nice. Explains all the characters and yeah. whatnot. The games are fairly easy to learn, but the idea is you're basically trying to run from a horde of zombies as they chase you. Mm -hmm. Most of all these games are already popped out and put together, just to give you guys a good look of what all is going to be inside. This one here... Let's see the back. Look at the back. Nice. They actually yeah. included the picture of what you're going to get in the game, a small summary of it, and the ages and all that. This is the most important thing I like to see in the back of a box. When I don't see what's in the game on the back, it kind of bugs me. And it doesn't give me a little bit of the story, it bothers me as well. So, in my opinion, they did a good job of this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, solid job. Yes, yes. Okay, so. These are all the components here. And lots of stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff. Let's go ahead and just take out some of them. We have little hearts, or sorry, health packs and the shotguns. Yeah, these are good thickness, actually. For. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're definitely double the thickness of the chips Regular I'm used to. Chips, yeah. And these actually fit on the boards here, exactly in the middle, just like that. So mm -hmm. when these, these little tiles come down, you actually will stick them directly on the circles as they pop down. And it also tells you what tiles, what, what, what uh, goes where. Exactly, exactly. Uh, these are not double-sided, but they have the difference between straight and corner pieces here, which you'll be using between, you'll know, be having to choose them as you move around. And the, the very board. important exit <laughs> tile. There's three important ones. You have the exit, right? And then you've got the horde start, and then you've got the player start. So if you do it, you know, if you look at the board just like this, Maybe yeah. move it over, so I guess, you get a little, a little bit. bit of a head Hopefully start Hopefully I can see this pretty horde. good. So <laughs> this is going to, yeah, yeah. So you have the horde start. And what's cool about this is there's a ton of different zombies in here. But in addition, there's also a horde. Wow, these are actually really nice and thick as well. I mean, that's the first thing I went and thought of with, with this mm -hmm. game as well. Um, the Z spots for zombies and they function in different ways. And you got the character, hero characters. What's yeah. nice about these is they actually come in really nicely. They don't pinch too hard. They don't remove mm -hmm. the... Uh, the cardboard, you know, the you know, sometimes when you put them on, it feels like they're ripping and it hurts. Yeah. It hurts my brain. 
usually because we see a lot of prototypes with this which usually one way or the other they're falling out of the <laughs> standee or they're getting pinched too much which it's understandable for prototypes and it's really good to see when when a publisher gets it gets it right on their final production dice are basic die you got three different color die one is a numerical die and the other are pips so not fine. This is what similar to what the prototype looked like. These tiles are much better. The quality of these components are way better. These are excellent as well. The cards. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. You go ahead and grab one of those there. Yeah. Yeah. Artwork is solid. It shows exactly what you need. It's got the cartoony vibe to it. Oh yeah, the, no, not the font, it's all oh, no. caps. Go ahead, keep talking. Okay. I'm gonna dip down here real quick. Oh. <laughs> The font is all caps, pretty easy to read. Um, just, yeah. Old people friendly? Kind of style. <laughs> if you're calling me old, <laughs> maybe. Well, I'm blind, so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt, I guess. But yeah, really nice quality components. Uh, Dead Sprint, they did an excellent job. Uh, yeah. I don't see anything additional as far as like any stretch goals are concerned, as far as like additional pieces. Maybe there's an extra type of zombie. There's, uh, there looks to be a lot of zombies. There's a there. ton of them. And they yeah. actually give you extra stands, which is really nice too. Just in case, that's all I Just try. in case you need extra stands for something or other. I'm actually using one for a different game that didn't have a stand. So <laughs> very, very useful. A uh, ton of extra tiles too. This game, uh, they did a very good job. They give you a bunch of components and they fit all in nicely. None of these tiles are really popping off that much. So I'm, uh, I am sufficiently impressed with them. I think they did great, a great job as far as that goes. And uh, these are even, I mean, you know, it's just all nice. It was good. Uh, like I said though, I don't think they have any Kickstarter stuff on here. Maybe they did like quality upgrades, which mm -hmm. you know would make sense because mm -hmm. this has got some good quality. I see that. more more Kickstarter leaning towards that lately. Which, which I think is well, better right? anyway. I'd rather have the game nicer than have a couple little yeah. zombies or whatever. You don't have to build Kickstarter stretch goals into the content while you're designing the game. It's nice. <laughs> so, overall, what do you think? Overall, a solid game. Yeah. yeah. You could see. Could you see yeah. this at a store? This yes, it, it looks uh, nice and it looks professional and yeah, you could see this in a little. Little friendly, what do you call it? Little friendly, Friend, little, <laughs> game, friendly store. Local game store. What <laughs> yeah. about like a Target? Target, maybe. Uh, if they go zombie route, I don't know if they they go maybe quite not that, the maybe horror not that whole theme way. much. All right, let's but. go ahead and take a look at Daryl's game, Dauber's Quest for the Key. <laughs> Yay! All right, we think this artwork. <laughs> this is cute. This is actually the expansion this as like, well. Uh, but I already emptied it and put it all in one box. Okay. On the back here, you're going to have the game. It shows the game, shows you what you get Ooh, in the game. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very good. I am a fan of his artwork. Very vivid imagery. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put this back down here. We'll put this one yeah, so back can... up here. That one actually it does a nicer job, I think, than the previous one. <laughs> what do we got here? So we got a rule book. What's on the back of this one here? Oh, wow. Looks good, Everything. too. This one actually looks really good, too. Look at yeah. that. That is, that is super good. Uh -huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. All right, we got... Well, this is a really thick rule book. <laughs> Has a kind of Big an Everdell horror. feel, doesn't it? Yes. It was the fantasy kind of world that you're jumping into. But it's also that vivid uh, forest yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, fantasy forest theme. Whoa, whoa, look at Very this. Here's green. the uh, here's the expansion board right here. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. I need to add that down here. Then, uh, right? I don't no. know. Yes, it is. Oh, I think okay. I think that's what it looks like it goes. Or it might go Maybe to the side. I don't know. But side. it does it does attach in some way. It <gasps> looks like it matches up here. Maybe it matches up here. Let's see. No, no, other way. Fine. <laughs> We're Fine. figuring it out. There we there go. go. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. All right. What else we got? We got the characters here. Wow, oh, full cute. art characters with a player board on the other side, which, wow, looks really good. They did, they did a really good job of that. Look at all these. Cool. Oh, look at that. Congratulations. Take a photo with this after you succeed <laughs> in the game. Good job. That's, uh, that's a nice little marketing touch there. Custom meeples. As you can see, I didn't even open all these yet. Yes. Oh, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. I didn't even punch these guys out yet. Yeah. <laughs> even more custom meeples. There's tokens here. Eh, these are okay. These are a little cloudy, I think. But otherwise, they're oh, solid. Oh, I thought that was a style. Maybe it's the, I don't know. Yeah, because it it's is. like fantasy world. 
Let me see. They, oh, they're, wow. They're, These are, look at boys. this. Yeah, that's actually, yeah. Really nice. Really nice job with these. Very uh -huh. impressed. Artwork, solid as well. These are nice and thick. I actually thought these were going to be a lot thinner. A lot thinner. I think they did it clear so you can see the see stuff. All inside. of them are that thick. Wow, that's, that is nice. I mean, look, Ooh. this is like double the thickness yeah. I thought it was going to be. Maybe yeah. even triple. It's not I was a thinking card these were these are cards when I first got it. Yeah. And these are not cards anymore. These, these are, are more, nice. These tiles, pretty and, much. And it tells you on the, the player count on the side, I think, which is nice as well. Good, good, excellent, excellent. Characters, I like the addition of full art. I, I don't like empty space, so adding things, you know, to make the game more vivid. Uh, when you're not when you're you know not playing with certain characters, having the ability to turn them over or whatever. And yeah. then of course all the player boards, Especially which are also for, nice. For a game where you're yeah. creating a whole world, right? <laughs> for <a> many <laughs> It's very nice. No, that's it, it, this is. I'm very impressed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the card quality. Okay. Oh, this is the expansion one. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we got Lin in here. Nice, good quality. Not a huge amount of artwork oh. on this. Oh, what they're on those ones? though. Okay, so these hero are probably cards. something else. I don't know. These are event cards. That's why these are event cards. Okay. These are the hero these, cards. Yeah, these are event cards. This is a deck builder, by the way. It's a deck builder where you're moving around the board trying to get to the the key. And it plays. It's a good. It's good for kids and whatnot. He, uh, I think his son, if I'm correct, uh, was with him at, at Origins. We met up, met up with him and he gave us the game to take a look at. But uh, yeah, this is solid. Very, very good. Uh, very impressed with this as well. Oh, the meeples. He did. You show yeah, them? he had custom meeples on there. You yeah, they're really cute. See if you can get, it up, little, get it up close and personal. A little sword or something. In it. Yeah. Doodle 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 doodle. doodle. <laughs> very cute. Little dobers. Yep. Little dobers. Dobers. Something like that. I'd like to sit down and play this with him at some point. I think that'd be fun. Ooh, nice art in the rule book as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He, he, he's got his artwork plastered all over here. He, and so the, <laughs> the designer is also the artist of this game. Mm -hmm. Wait, if you have, if you didn't know, based on my ramblings. Cute, cute. Very nice, nice. Looks good. I like the just the addition of of something like this that mm -hmm. doesn't you know you got extra space so you, you add that as opposed to just leaving it blank. Very nice. Dober's Quest for the Key. Plus uh, expansion. Splattered Ink Games. So, how about this one? Yes, I mean, really does work to show off the artwork, which is important in the world. Um, so yeah, without having played it yet. <laughs> this is probably more your game than the zombie yeah, one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Vivid imagery and whatnot. This one it is. It doesn't always work out. That it's I can still play competitive the game. though. It's still a competitive <laughs> game. You're still trying to get to the key first, yeah. and the other ones are zombies where they're chasing you and you're trying to push your friends over and get to the end. Mm -hmm. They have similar ideas. They're both racing uh, aspects, but this one is more uh, deck building. Mm -hmm. It's got some really cool things, and I really, I really like this one. I think you did an excellent job with this. I uh, the prototype was, it wasn't bad. But it, you know, in comparison to this, this, yeah. this, this shines through like no other. I think people are going to be very, very happy with their copy of this game. Uh, he did not, he didn't cut any corners from, nice. from what I think. <laughs> I mean, I like the little plastic, did you look at them closer? The little plastic, yeah. What did you think? Uh, well, I'm not sure how they're used, but if they're used so that to you can cover see, up something, I think. see so underneath you can them, then it yeah. makes sense that they're clear like that. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, local game store approved? Yeah. You would see this at a yeah, local game yeah. store? What about uh, Target? Uh, yeah, I think if they expand more into these types of world world fantasy games, yeah. You like, how do you like the artwork? Good. Yes, I like the artwork a lot. And, and I think it's shown off very well in how the game is put yeah, I, I always The first thing I always look at games is the front and then the back before even anything else. Just I, in fact, the back is even more important to me than the front because I want to see what is in the game. What do you I wanna get? See, <laughs> well, I want to see the, 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 they've involved. taken the time to make sure that you know you know what's mm -hmm. inside. And it, it, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter to me as much nowadays. Uh, I review games. I kind of have an idea what's, what's going to be inside based on social media and whatnot but for people i think about people who go into a local game store to mm -hmm. pick it up mm -hmm. and there's certain games uh where they're probably not going to do like multiple print runs like record over there probably is not going to do multiple reprints over and over again you know 
Uh, mm -hmm. And so the back might not be as important because the backers that wanted it got it, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, Dober's Quest of the Key. Very good. Very, very good. Let's go with record, I mean, the actually. Goal, yeah, the goal of every game might not be to be in the <laughs> retail space, right? Yeah. Record by Yannick Wanda Games. This is uh, one to five players, 45 minutes, ages eight plus. This looks really cool because it looks like... It's got an amp. An amp. <laughs> it's, an amp right there. it's got the number of players on it. The back and is nice, too. And that looks like the dials as well. That's fun. Record Rockstar 100, a unique group of materials. Thanks to every one of your supports. Wow, so that's cool. We have all the people's names on here. Uh, that's really nice. A nice way to thank the backers. I know I pledged for this, but I think I only gave him a couple dollars. You didn't give enough to get on the back of the not box. special enough. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to look. But yeah, they, they and they show you all the components, which is really nice. He did, he did a good job of this. Marshall Britton, Andrew Toth. All right. Let's see. Put this one up here. There you go. You're thinking ahead of me right now. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Yes. That's cool. So did all of the games get this yes. mat? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Cool. And I like mats more than boards, to be honest. I not for in all games, things, but for certain things, if yeah. they can get away with it, I like uh -huh, it more. Uh -huh. And this, it's actually smaller than some, you know, boards. So it's, it's nice because you can fit sense. right in here, you know. Yeah. So. And I think with the game pieces, once we get them out, it makes sense this why you'd want the mat. This is kind of like a musical, uh, musical ticket to ride. Puzzle kind of. Yeah, it's a little bit like ticket to ride. Like you're placing court, you're probably placing picks uh -huh. down or chords down. You're trying to score uh, combinations. You played this with us, didn't yes, you? Yes, yeah. So you're placing the picks down as like notes in order to try to get chords and score them. These are nice. Good. They did a good job of this as well. Uh -huh. And it's all real m musical chords. Not that I know <laughs> anything about that. Linen as it's well really with cool. a sheen. Nice. Very good. Yeah, yeah. These are good. They did a good job of this. What do we got here? The picks. The picks I was worried about. Let's see if they solved that. Okay. Ooh, we got, okay. wow, they actually got the, the wild, the wild picks. Yeah. Very good. And on That's the back, nice. all of them are, yep, they did a good job with these. And I guess you, you could even use them as an actual pick. So even if you hated this game, now you got a ton of picks <laughs> to use for playing your guitar. I mean, it's, cool there's going to be yeah. a lot of musically inclined people that are going to want to take a look at this game, I think. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy this game personally. Uh, my review's up there if you're interested, but how'd you like it? Yeah, one of the things I like, they're taking his stuff away before I'm ready, is how you, he used the shape of the pick to help with the puzzle aspect of the game. Sometimes you play it one direction, sometimes you're playing it the other. Uh, and that just a really cool thing where the theme of the game really matches the mechanic. You've also got hidden, uh, hidden, uh, hidden genres objectives, yeah. that you're trying to complete. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then there's a nice score pad. Let's see. Do I like this? Usually these are pretty... Hit or miss. <laughs> Actually, Some? these do. These are good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I, nice. Nice. Yeah. I, I'm happy with this. Oh, and the rule book. This is good. This is good because I, sometimes I get them where they're like, even when they just open the box, they're already peeling off and they're yeah, all nasty. And, yeah. Uh, this you is good. You don't want they're, it to come apart. And there's, an, there's enough to where you're not, you're not going to need any more. Okay. You're not going to need to print out any more for this game. Unless you're like really into it. Uh, unless you're a music teacher. I don't like, know. <laughs> this, is, this is a solid amount. So that's good. And the rule book looks colorful. Yeah, pretty. yeah. I like the art on there. That's fun. All right, I dig it. Uh, this game is solid. All of the components are the exact quality I wanted and more, so I'm not going to complain. The cards are good card stock, nice finish, mm -hmm. very, very vibrant. Just yeah. enough, just enough, as much art as I'd want for this specific type of game, showing you the, the chords and mm -hmm. all that. That's really cool, and it does have some learning aspects in the game as well, learning about the different chords and whatnot. Yeah. Um, people that are musically inclined are going to be into this game, I think. And the mat is fun, too, because it... Gives you a lot of the quick reference Tells you everything information. You need to know. Everything yeah. you need to know is right yes. here. You read the rule book once, and then you have this the mat to follow, and you're good. It, yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's so straightforward, uh, which is really really nice. Yeah, and it makes sense with the picks. It's easy to place them yep. on the mat. Yep. Excellent. Uh, this okay. one I can see at a local game shop. I don't know if I'd see it at a at a target it might be too specialized i think so i think that would be the thing for mainstream but as far as quality goes oh this is fun too i didn't the little guitars along the edge yeah nice 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 so let's go ahead and take a look at the next game next game come on all right by, by everything, everything epic. epic wow well first of all even okay, beforehand okay, let's let's Getting look look at this oh. let's see <laughs> wow so when I, when I got the prototype for this, it was pretty interesting. It was basically just uh, an envelope. 
That was the entire <laughs> yeah. game. It was all, almost put an entire envelope. So there you go. Setup, story, explanation of the game. It's also 18 plus mature audiences. Mm -hmm. one, the one I played was not 18 plus, I don't think. It was creepy and eerie for sure. A uh, nice high quality box. Yeah, it's like got an extra it is, layer of it is, raised. Yeah, it's, it's on raised. There. Yes. It's raised and it and has shiny. a gleam to it as yeah. well. Very that's fancy. Fun. Let's see if we can somehow I get this thing up in there. Yeah. Too big. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We, we, I have a better idea. Ah, there perfect. We go. Perfect. <laughs> Wow. Do we have room for this game? Uh, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> so this is actually what, the, what it looked like for me when I got it. was like an, uh, one of these hospital envelopes. So they mm -hmm. did a good job of that. Folders, yeah. St. Dimpha Dimpha Memorial General. Huh. I'm sure I'm saying that incorrectly. But by, by the way, the use of space, right? So you have one hospital, which is this side here. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> and you have another hospital, this side here. All right. Pretty cool, and you can choose either side that you want. I think I like this one better. I like this. I like these. This type of artwork better. Uh, all, got, all your player boards. This game is similar to Betrayal in the House in the Hill, as well as others. Cards haven't opened yet though. Looks good. And then we've got the basic character standees. This. Let's see. Oh, actually, these these work just fine. Good. They they figured out the dimensions. <laughs> However, I have the uh, special pack Ooh, with the characters. Um, miniatures. That's right. I'd say the miniatures are fine. And they're different ones too. Yeah, they have they have multiple different ones. They're they're not as detailed as I guess some people would imagine. They're not like I guess Simon quality detail. But they do have different poses, they have their different colors, mm -hmm. and they look they look kind of like mannequins almost. Like like yeah. they're kind of like uh, uh, imperial, uh, uh, inferior, I don't know what the word is. Which kind of adds to the creepiness. Factor. Yes, yes, they definitely are creepy. These guys are <laughs> definitely creepy. You got your die here. More characters. And of course, you have the option. So you can either go kind of retro with this game or you can go a little bit more modern. And there's retro on the back here, and then this is like kind of like the more modern. Got all your chits here, cards, and then you've got more crazy stuff. There's a lot of tokens in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the also the, these special oh, pills. pills. Uh, they, yeah. they, have, they have them in cardboard as well, but if you want the deluxe pack, the upgrade. Uh, just for these alone would be worth it, in my opinion. Super cool. Mm -hmm. And some more tiles for the board itself. Here's the basic pills, okay. which are front and back, which is good too. That's very nice. I like my chits front and back. And then of course, I'm not gonna pull all of it out, but you have the different, Cassettes. so like in so like in Betrayal, you have the different yeah. stories, different right? Campaigns. These are all right. different cassettes for different campaigns. Mm -hmm. And you've got like the, the uh, special mission pack, and then the base game has a lot, actually. Wow. There's these. And then all these as well. Okay, and each one tells you how many players and how many minutes. Yep. That's nice. Yep. So we took a look at one of them. I don't know. It's the in's mouth look. Two to six players, 20 to 40 minutes. Phenomenon number 12. Super cool. This is definitely a game I think we should do live stream at some point on. Yeah. It's very, 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 very spooky. On very, very fun. But it is. Halloween it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be good for Halloween. <laughs> it is 18 plus though. So we'll have to see what oh, okay. what exactly is 18 plus. Maybe, Maybe we'll have to go to Twitch instead of Facebook. I'll have to go through it and check though. <laughs> Overall quality? Yes. Good. There's a lot of stuff in this yeah, game. There is I, a lot. I have not played this game yet. I think it would scare me. But <laughs> looks good. I don't know. Cards are nice. Yeah. I like the quality. I like the style of these as well. They are freaky. How so the these tiles. are the rooms that go on on here, then, right? Okay. Yes. These. Go, yeah, the, the, they got the... doors, so you can't when you don't know what's in there, right? Okay. Yeah. This is the typical type of uh, what do you call like little the, 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 card. the cards. It's a card. It's, it's more a, of a yes. card than a tile. It wouldn't be a tile. It'd be a yeah. card that goes on here. Flip Perfectly over. fine for yeah. exactly what you need. This game comes with a lot of content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are nice and thick too. These are about almost double the thick of the uh, 
of the tiles what? themselves. Oh, these are what the little uh, tokens go into, yep. huh? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. where you got all your, your all your health and all that, yeah, all right. sanity and all that good stuff. I would recommend getting the uh, upgrade. Upgrade, yeah, the just for these. Upgrade. These are cool. I think I actually like the this, these standees better because they're a little bit more retro on the non-retro board. <laughs> But these aren't bad either. I like those ones. I like, like these the ones? miniatures. Yeah. Okay. They're cool. I like. They're kind of like mannequins. They're kind of cool. Yeah. Show the. Yeah. Let's flip over for the other. Other way here. Oh, I smacked that. <laughs> nice. I like this side too. Has its own style. There's like some writing on there, which is kind of fun and adds to the theme of the game. I say, approved. Definitely see this. I'm, I'm definitely sure you'll see this at an FLG, but probably not it's, at a Target. No, not at, not at 18 no, plus. it's just too too big and 18 plus. Overall. Overall, looks good. Looks very creepy. Looks like the theme really comes off. And well this is like game. I would say 10 to 15 times better than the prototype. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> like they went way more. I, I uh -huh. was not sure what to expect with Coma Ward, and now that I've seen it, after it's all done, yeah, this is beautiful. Uh -huh. Well done. Very, very epic. popular at the cons we've been. To oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's popular as all heck. Next game. Next game's over there. Let's go ahead and look at Dragon Lords Battle of Darien. All right. This looks like a card game. It's a game that basically will link. Oh, look at that artwork on that. Uh -huh. That is very, very detailed. Yes. Yeah. This is the style of fantasy artwork you like. This huh? is their first game. <laughs> yeah. It's got that World of Warcraft fantasy style feel. It's got dragons and all kinds of different characters. It has a nice, um, has a nice diverse cast of characters and monsters and whatnot, which is really like nice. Like a lot of different roles. The rule book. Uh -huh. Nice quality. Thick rule book. Pages are nice. It's Looks an interesting good. box shape, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a little different. Some people are going to like it, some people might not. Yeah. Let's see. This is the back. Shows you all the components. Yep, perfect. Character. Two to four players, 25 minutes, 12 and up. Looks good. All the components are in here, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Look at some of the chits here. Good quality. Thick. Nice. Artwork's good on them. The gems are cut. Like, yeah, the gems are die cut, which is nice. And there's enough tokens for pretty much everything in the game that you could think of on the board. Probably even oh, way more than oh, you'll need. Yeah, there's a lot of tokens. First player marker, also very nice, mm -hmm. front and back. Another way to utilize the artwork in the game. Finished linen cards. Good. Oh, yeah. Good quality That's cards. Good. They look good. They feel good. And looks like we got a little tray in here to keep all your cards. Separate, which yeah, is nice. there's a lot of cards in there too. We've got dice, custom die as well that are etched. Oh, fun! They have I a like black <laughs> and white borders. Very nice, very nice to hold. Nice to roll. Feels yeah. good. The black adds something so you can easily recognize it, right? <laughs> That's nice. Lots of little cards. These are cute. Good thickness. And then a whole bunch of black die. Black die. Straight up black dice. <laughs> Probably the average size die you'd normally have in the game. They are nice quality though. Looking at the art on the cards. Here's me. This is a <laughs> promo of me. Is it really? It, yeah, you can't tell. <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah. It's got your beard. Yeah, that's and your that's face. me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm a. It's a little less. It's a little less. less a little less muscular. A little bit. less muscular than what I really am, but. I know to get my full f physique in this, this that would be... Uh, me, the dragon. <laughs> yeah, right. You wish. Oh, here we go. Hi, Elf. <laughs> ah. I haven't even opened all these yet. But yeah, the but cards yeah. are nice. They have a uh -huh. linen finish as well. They do. They are nice. High quality. Fun back to the cards as well. Good. I'm glad they went. They went the extra mile in making the cards nice. And having a nice... Uh, a nice little insert little that fits tray, fits yeah, everything inserts, exactly yeah. how it needs to go. It's ba it's just it's basically a customizable card game that you play mainly. A, it's mainly one v one, but you can play mm -hmm. with two v two. You play on, we play on teams as well for our live stream. 
You remember playing this I game, don't, don't you? I don't remember. You did, yeah. We played this live. <laughs> I did? Okay. Yeah, me and you played against two other people. Oh, okay. And we had actually okay. some interesting yeah, yeah, jazz now the boards. I remember. Yeah. And you're okay. moving them. There's like a middle area and a back that and was left. a while ago. Yep, you go back and forth <laughs> with each other. But yeah, this just came out not too long ago. Dragon Lord Battle of Darien. Really nice quality. Uh, this one would be, I think, at a uh, local friendly game store. I can mm -hmm. see this. The quality is nice. The artwork is by far my favorite thing about the game. Just looks beautiful. Yeah, the dragons are really cool. Fully fully customizable game. Uh, Wolf Goid Games did a really mm -hmm. good job of this. I'm excited to see what they come out with next. I'm hoping to see maybe a, a deck builder or something from them. But yeah. I think that'd be really cool. I think uh -huh. they'd be, they do a really nice deck builder. They I had think. even more cards. They could do a more standard size. So I think it's hard too. to sell. Yeah. It's hard to sell uh, LCGs or whatever you want to call them. Games that are like living card games. That kind of like you mm -hmm. you have to customize and put on. You know, it's, it's such a There's big so market. And then yeah. you're also fighting against the uh, trading card games like Magic and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. this becomes a niche of a niche. But with a deck builder, utilizing this artwork, I think would be amazing. The game itself is good. I think you guys will enjoy it if you like playing 1v1 or 2v2 uh, on a board where you just take turns back and forth with orders. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful looking game. They did a good job. And then we have our last one. Last one. This one, I believe, is Mark McKinnon. Yep. And this is called Wreck and Ruin. It's a ve ve vehicular violence in a post-apocalyptic -apocaly wasteland. Plays 2 to 4, 40 daily minutes, and it's for ages 14 and up. Also mm -hmm. nice, nice mm -hmm. back as well. Shows you what's in the uh, game. Yeah. There you go. You got all the things you need, and then of course the player count. Yep, just like the back I usually like to see. And nice quality box. It's actually very thick. Wreck and ruin looks good. Dream big games. There we go. Let's see. Oh, the, that's a big. Yep, and it's got. It does have artwork in in, in the in the book, which is mm -hmm. nice as well. Yeah. And the outside is pretty cool too. And a lot of it's just a lot of it's just extra stuff. Like Some special story. skills and stuff like that. Yeah, Maybe it's okay. like 15 pages of actual rules. But it's nice, nice quality rule book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your uh, quick start guide, which is actually just one whole sheet of paper. Nice. And then we've got our. Ooh. That's kind of cool terrain. how they, these fit together here. Let's see if we can show. I'm guessing they go like this. <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh. Customizable uh, board, mm -hmm. so you can play differently mm -hmm. every single time. But yeah, it looks nice. They did a good job with this too. Yeah, having the hexagons as the edge front makes and back it easy to put them together and stay to stay together on the board. I mean, on you can table. see this can get pretty big as well. Yeah, it's quite a few tiles here. Ooh. I think we got three more we can actually put on here. Uh, okay, I'm seeing how far we how big yeah. we can make it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Fits our whole table. And then all of our tokens. Well, a lot of, not all of them, but a good amount. They are thick. They are These nice are quality. Yeah. yeah. As well as outpost tokens and whatnot. They go on the board. They fit exactly in the spaces. Nice as well. But mm -hmm. that's not all. The game's Ooh. also got one of these guys here that fits in as well. Wouldn't it go like this? I don't know. So it goes, yeah, it goes like that. Yeah. Which is the round tracker. Something like that. Let's see if we can fit you in here. Let's see. Are we doing this wrong? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't they're like, they're doing that wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. I know that this fits in somewhere. Okay, it doesn't quite fit the edges there. It just hmm. fits one, I don't know. one part, I guess. Maybe it only goes to the side. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Cards. Cards. More cards. Dice. More event cards. Fire tokens. Okay. Fiesta Resistance. These are the vehicles. And you have those guys. You'll have guys riding little mechs. You'll have motorbikes. There's a ton of extra. This is not even half of them. <laughs> Look at all these guys. But what's really cool about these is when they take damage, you'll mm -hmm. actually be taking these little fire ah. symbols here, or fire things. Your little pips. And you'll be placing them on the actual miniature. Miniatures. They fit That's in. That's fun. Oh, they do fit in. Okay. I'm nice on and fire! Easy. Nice and easy. Let's see. Okay, I'm happy. It looks, looks good. And it shows you that's basically their health points that are attached to the actual characters themselves. Yeah, that's really cool because then you don't have to check back on your card or your player board who has what health. 
can nice. just see it visually. Yeah, and there's just a ton of little miniatures to take a look at, and they're all different as well. All right, here's the cards. How are the cards? Cards are nice. Not linen, but thick, high quality. Text mainly. And on the mm -hmm. back, you got some artwork mm -hmm. for your events and whatnot. With these the salvo cards. Yeah. Nice. Overall, solid little game. Looks much better than the prototype we got. This has got the nice plastic <laughs> miniatures, the little the little, uh, little cars moving around the board. But you're basically going to be doing this wrecking mm -hmm. vehicular slaughtering game. We went around trying to destroy each other. The hmm. theme kind of reminds me of a uh, Mad Max. Yeah, Mad Max Fury yeah. Road. That's kind of what it feels like. And the dice are nice too. They're just basically different colored die for the different colored characters. But they match the colors very well. Overall, solid. Inside the box, you have stuff to fit every single one of the characters as well yep. as the cards and on top everything else that's really nice when you have miniatures <laughs> especially <laughs> to be able to usually what drives me nuts with these all... games is hmm. being able to fit them in the box oh, but for the most part go. for the most part it's pretty easy to tell which ones go where you can kind of actually just straight up see it in the box here let's see if i can pull these little fires out on yep we did it Let's see. Let's wait, see if we no. can. No, that is right. Ah, it oh, goes no, like that. Yeah. That's how it goes. Okay. Get this one off. Nice. Figuring out where they all go is always a, 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 a tricky puzzle. <laughs> I think that, yeah. Not so bad though, comparatively to some of them. Nice, but it's all your, all your vehicles. These are really cool. I think the fires are a nice touch too. It's something I haven't seen before Ooh. as far as taking damage. We actually What's see the, the black fire? <laughs> additional types of damage, I believe. Oops, I'll figure out this little guy here. But yeah, uh, what do you think? Yeah, it looks like uh, people will get more than they expected in oh, this yeah. game. Oh yeah, uh, I saw the Kickstarter campaign and they, they, went, they, went, they went extra. They gave a, little, a lot of extra in this game, which is nice. I like the front and back tiles as well. They're very high quality and they're very thick, very nice tiles. Mm -hmm. These go in there or not? Nope. Okay. Just set these aside in here. Cards. We got these to go Cards. in there. These to go. Nice. Here. Everything yep. with its place. A place for everything. Yep. I'm only curious about this. I wonder how yeah. this actually fits onto it. I'll have to look at the actual rules and setup. <laughs> and I played a while ago, but we just we got this not too long ago. We are a little late on this one, but I want to have enough games to show off. Mm -hmm. Reckon Ruin. So if you guys are interested in taking a look at that, you can. I'll have links in the description below for all the games here if you want to go ahead and take a look at them. A lot of cool games though. Reckon Ruin, Dragon Lords, The Battle of Darion, Dead Sprint, Record. Dober's Quest for the Key and the expansion, of course, and then Combo Ward. Quite, quite a few games to take a look at here, huh? Collection. <laughs> Anything your favorite as far as quality or content goes? Something uh, that strikes you? I think Record just looks so nice. It looks really polished and professional and just like a little elegant extraness to it that really shows. As far as theme goes, I think I'm going to go with Combo Ward just as far as like going through the different... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, a, sane, a sane asylum and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff and I also like the uh, type of betrayal how they kind of twisted it made it their own very unique different type of mechanics while still having all the different sets for different gameplay this has got then, great artwork yeah, Dober's Darian's got great so artwork cool. as well yeah very very colorful bright unique mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is just a race a dash to try and survive as well as have your friends not kick you in the shins and then this one is all out vehicular warfare. So they all have something unique and different to them. And I, I, I think that they all came out really well, actually. I mean, not in most of these videos, I at least usually have some concerns throughout the different games. But for these, um, not a lot of concern. Maybe if I, I'm going to try and find negatives here. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what that little piece goes to with that one. So I don't know how that works just by looking at it. But it might, it might fool me by showing it, the it rules. It might be fairly intuitive and we just whoop. No. And if you're not if you're not a standee fan, maybe if you want a miniature for this, I guess that could be a thing. Some yeah. people like their zombies in miniature form. Mm -hmm. This one, if you don't like the fact that it doesn't have a board, if it's just if you don't like uh, the mat, that might yeah. be a thing. Dobers is if you're not into family games, if mm -hmm. you're looking for something a little more in depth, in depth yeah. then maybe not. 
Uh, Dragon Lords. Uh, there's so there's a lot of titles out there that have a lot of similarities to that game. Um, so it's going to have a hard market to. Mm -hmm. They're going to be fighting in a hard market. Uh, but the game itself is cool. I like the fact that it has a solo player as well. And then Coma Award itself. Uh, it's the miniatures are a little less detailed, I suppose, than I'd like. But I also can see why they're less detailed. They fit with the theme. <laughs> yeah, and uh, maybe if it's it's also eighteen eighteen yeah. plus. So, so that's very niche. It's very niche as well, well due to yeah. the fact that it's that. All of these group. have a very have a somewhat different audience that they're going to appeal to and yep. different backers. So I think each of those, you know, audiences will be happy with what they get. Uh, if you wanted to play one right now, which one would it be? Um, uh, Dobers, probably. Dobers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and I probably want to play Comor just because I was enthralled with the first, the one scenario I got to do previously, and it was probably the most, not rough prototype, but definitely the most different looking prototype of, uh, you know, of all of these that had like ma mainly paper components and very thin shits. This has got the full experience, so I want to yeah. try one full scenario in here, which I will be doing. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of these games I've played pretty thoroughly with a bunch of different ways of playing it, so I'm very yeah. I, I'm very sure of how they play. This one's a little different because it's very unique as to each gameplay. Each episode. Is yes, different. very yeah. very unique, and I want to see an 18 plus because so far the one I play there's only one, you know. So yeah. But anyway, that is our after the campaign video. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that there's any quality components that uh, needed to be upgraded in this? Or were you happy with, if you bought, if you back any of these games, were you happy with what you got? Let are me you know down below. Are you looking for any of the games? Yeah, yeah. Are you looking for any of these specific <laughs> Call games? Call your stores, your local stores. You can go yeah, ahead and take a look there. down below in the description. I'll have links for all these games as long as I can find them somewhere. They'll probably be on Amazon and their websites. And some of these, like maybe Record, is probably going to be more difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Go to my website, unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. As well as subscribing here on Unfiltered Gamer for more after the campaign videos, walkthroughs, reviews, live streams on our Facebook page at 7.30 p.m. PST to 9.30 p.m. every Wednesday. And join don't forget to uh, join the party with us. Have <laughs> some fun. We, we have a bunch of people on there all the time. And don't forget to check out our friends, everythingboardgames.com, the cardboard stacker, show me how to win. And before you play, a lot of people there that you can go ahead and take a look at. If you like this content, there's, there's is going to be up your boat too. Maybe up your alley. Up your boat. Up your boat, <laughs> up your boat too. Up your alley. You'll probably enjoy those <laughs> as well. Or even more. They got better quality than me. I'm not going to lie. All right, guys. That's all I got for you this time. As always, we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time. time.